would say that was a tale of uh, two different games. Vermont was the more gritty team and the more determined team tonight. We came out, which sometimes happened in back-to-back -back games. We win the night before, they lose, we think it's going to be a little easier. They, think, they know they're going to have to play harder. And uh, they jumped on us right off the bat and never recovered from it. I thought once they get up, because of our lack of effort and our lack of concentration and focus. And then we tried to get going, we tried to play harder, but uh, because we weren't mentally ready to start, we couldn't get it going. We missed a lot of passes, we missed a lot of opportunities, the puck was bouncing on us. We had a whole bunch of uh, situations go almost. Uh, were, 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 and really turning pucks over that were not necessary, forcing passes that went there. So I was really disappointed uh, from start to finish. I uh, give uh, Sean a lot of credit and goal. He wasn't expected to play tonight. He uh, didn't get himself prepared like he usually does. He was told after the pregame skate today that he was going to go. And obviously, he had a tough night you know, physically last night, coming back and playing again. And he probably would like to have a couple of the goals back, but he really battled too and made some big saves as well. So. Sean's computer will give us a hell of a night. I thought you know, not, yeah, it'll give us a real good night. We had too many of our important players uh, have off nights. For them, it seemed uh, Brody Hoffman was fantastic in the first period, particularly when they needed him to be. But I also wonder how much of a factor was three games in five days for you? Uh, I don't know. You know not the fact that the puck is bouncing on us. We're not controlling. What, we didn't look really legless, we just didn't, uh, not focused. But, you know, mental, mental uh, focus is there. You know. <coughs> I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hang too much on that. Mm -hmm. How did McGuire react when you told him? Because he said he didn't have much time to prepare. What was his reaction? Well, he, did, he, he had time to prepare. It was this afternoon, but he didn't have the time usually. He likes to start getting ready the night before, the day before practice. <coughs> he didn't have any reaction. He had, you know, he had no choice. You know. Uh, it wasn't like, I don't want to go, coach, I'm not ready. I just, I just told him he was going to play, so I didn't see anything different. Like I said, I thought he got it. What exactly is wrong with O'Connor? Uh, they're not sure. It's, I think he might have a collapse long. <coughs> he just felt funny. Uh, he felt like he couldn't breathe in practice. He was talking about before the practice, and we don't see how he could play. And then the doctor said, we sent him over to see the doctor. We had a, uh, we did a big chest x-ray and we saw some fluid in there, so we're not sure what it is, but uh, it, it could be something as like that, it could be something that's just a chest cold uh, But it was bad enough for him to say, I can't go, and that's really unusual. You know, if you feel a little tired, you wouldn't say that. You couldn't, you couldn't read. <coughs> and what did that situation pop up? Just this, today during pre Today, yeah. Well, no, this morning, so he could have felt it before practice. Right? Mm -hmm. Then he said he, he tried to go up and see how he felt on the ice, and then he took himself off. He just mm -hmm. talked to me and Larry after, he said he came from. So that's what we told him. We told, uh, we told Sean before the practice started, that the new game skate started, that he might be going up to see how, how Matty looks and Matty looks. The team's yet to win uh, three games in a row this year. Uh, just. Uh, <coughs> What has uh, caused the inconsistency? Uh, well, first of all, this is a tough league, and second of all, we have not uh, had the mental toughness and the maturity to, to put three really good games together. Uh, we needed more mental toughness tonight. We needed more focus tonight. We needed to understand that they would play harder because their backs were the wall. Uh, and we didn't come out with we, we didn't look like the same team starting this game as we started last night. So I would say that's mental toughness. Well, you mentioned having uh, a couple guys have off nights tonight that were really important guys. When was the last time you think that you had all of your important guys playing well at the same time? Last night? Easy. Mm -hmm. All right. Last two games. Your first line hasn't shown up as much on the score sheet lately. Obviously, the second line's playing very well, but is, is the first line any a concern at all right now? Yeah, you know, I'm concerned with a couple of
driving as hard as they should have, or pushing themselves as hard as they should. Uh, I don't think it's you know, every day, but we're not getting what we need out of it. A couple of guys Is there any thought to changing up the look of that line, though? Uh, we did a little bit of changing around a little bit in the third period tonight. We might look at that for the rest of the week and see how it goes. As far as the map, is it just a matter of the puck going in for him now, or is he doing some stuff without the puck that's kind of helping? Well, I think the puck is going in for him. You know, he's always been a streaky goal, so he's also moving without the puck. He's not trying to play hip hop, he's going to get it. He's not, he's not standing out the, the, uh, the periphery hoping somebody finds him for a long time. He's, he's closing down the net. He's, 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 he's driving out and couple of his goals have been back to a goal. He was on the, on the half wall and all of a sudden he started to go down low and he, he made a beeline to the pipe and there it was for him. A couple of his goals have been two on ones where he made a beeline and he sees somebody going on the net so he's got to get up there. Instead of being a drop man, he's trying to get to the goal ball. He's just moving faster, more determined. Is that just a matter of, you know, experience knowing that he has to now or is there... I think it's a matter of, you know, uh, motivation. 